All right. We're good to go. So, ah, oh, shoot. One sec. Stuck at, yep, 20 frames. Got to do the display thing real quick. And then we'll be good. Why? Done. 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 Wait, does F actually do anything? Come on, Roy. On my way. Roy, we're in a hurry. Yeah, as soon as I'm finished. Get a move on, Roy. Who are? Roy. We're in a hurry. Come on, Roy. <laughs> I'm waiting, Roy. So it does work. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? All right. Back to the police station. if you please i'm working a major case i'm not close cap it's gonna have to wait let phelps do the interrogation but cap no buts this is more important if you were twice as smart you'd still be stupid mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury case got oh. thrown out now the da wants my head drop my water for a second an interview too phelps there's a quack in there with him what gives? Ethan. Ah, this guy. Oh, Children. great. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove <laughs> that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Six Marine being targeted. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Did you know, Mr. Nikolsky? You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? The manifest, maybe? It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Doubt. You're training to be a oh, doctor. Shit. I should have said that. How do you justify that. all of these deaths? You're supposed to want to save people. Before you get on your high horse, I saved my fair share in Pele Lu and Okinawa. My conscience is clear. How do you sleep at night? You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Anyone seen where Miss Wells went? Truth. How do you think this is what? Play out, Courtney? He was just he sitting there. He wasn't doing Jack. anything. What's this got to do with Jack? Jack would never be involved in anything like this. But you would. He has already denied any wrongdoing. Great. Have you finished? Detective? You're out of two. I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. You 
certainly had us full, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Oh boy. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie, they're my daughters. It's so weird that this is the only... Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? The I'll only moment where you get to see at least talk. Cole's what family. What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. <laughs> yeah, it's going on, Legend. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It's just so weird how, like, in this game, like, the entire time you're just a cop, and then all of a sudden, like, the last few ones, it gets a little bit more personal. The last few cases, at least. I still hear, is it just me or does anybody else still hear the horn? I still hear it in the background right now. And then it just faded out right there. No rest for the wicked. Manifest destiny. Wow, I didn't remember that at all. All right, this game feels like it's about to crash. Wait, demote. Oh, we got demoted to arson. Ah. The gas man. <laughs> okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Mm -hmm. Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. 
You do now, Herschel, I remember him. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. I would like another Bears game show you the ropes, with uh, this is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take case long, solving. Man. I don't know about LA Nord too, Stop though. To be slides. honest. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. I really wish we got Stafford's that agent game that town, Rockstar was working on, though. That would have been really 44, cool. 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire Brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Aish. Throw the sword of justice back on. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA. He ran the light on Olympic. He finally caught uh, him. Wait, where do we go? There it is. If you look at this clown. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I want to make homicide. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my gosh. Death. Exit. About the woman Exit. Stabbed her husband and pushed him in front of the car. All right, Herschel. Is this your whip? It is. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? Actually, I want to ask you. Where do you want to go? Help me out. Kem said the first place was on Kenmore. Let's go. Can you drive to this one? Who wants All Kenmore? Right. Where to? Oh, uh, Kenmore. How long have you been working arson? <laughs> do the Dude, that talk would be sick. Talk baseball, Just pull up like addresses. a... I don't think so. Doot, 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 doot. Feeling down. All right, that one's good. Need a buddy? <laughs> look somewhere else. All we need is that nanotechnology. Nanites. Have little robots living on you at all times and then... isn't much left there never is if the job's done properly you think it was deliberate nah that's real pain in your face they would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance there's no mileage in this hello mike hey hirsch cap this one yeah mike brannigan cole phelps it's <laughs> okay brannigan his name may be dog shit but there's none in his hand no offense phelps none taken do you have anything the fire started late last night with the Steppens family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. And they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. Lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Take a look around. Mr. Stephens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stephens. You were out of Don. Time. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. <laughs> now that even more people are going it's a to formality, but we'll sound to like they the are. Agent. Traveling competition. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Truth. Did you enter any kind of competition? Uh, my wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. 
It's the first time I ever won anything. It's a bourbon redevelopment. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. I'm gonna use some intuition. Move an answer. Okay, so it's obviously doubt. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Incidental. There's more clues in here somewhere. Serviced. Could be something to go on. There it is. Let's go down here and make a call. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? <laughs> I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks for your help. Not bad. All right, what's his plan? Any ideas? We could hit the travel agent or try this suburban lead. Travel agency or suburban lead? You drive. Uh, you go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? About the Sawyer house fire. Oh, yeah, let's check out this one. See if there's any connections. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Nine eighteen AM. Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We you have a partner? What gives? This is Cole <laughs> Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh. Now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the nether world of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Oof. Meter exploded. Okay, another one. Looks that way. Insta heat model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. 
All right. Val. You're going to stick it out, Cole? I'm going to try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? Yeah. This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. All right. Oof. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? time in there their insta heater thing Is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps. Across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. <laughs> Hurry, you can still catch him. <laughs> God damn it, Phelps. You're literally right on top of me. That fire. We need to ask some questions. There it is. Ouch. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're not in aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. It sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. 
this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fires cold. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. But the reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Parson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? It's gotta be worth checking out the agent that issued those tickets. I'm trying to imagine you with a You know the way. You can drive. Right, we'll get to the travel and agency. Where exactly are we going? Gulliver's Travel Agency, 9.33 a.m. <laughs> it's actually funny. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. Junk All right, hold on one second, chat. I'm back. Sorry about that there. Can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Yo, what's going on, Hormonko? How you doing? John Cunningham. All right. Well, there's the Sawyer. The Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. And the Steffens. Here they are. Steffens. Suburban re redevelopment. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Is that an OBS? Um, the, the way promotion. I have it Our promotions mail is I have a two PC set up. So I use NDI, which is a program essentially it captures this screen and takes it to the other computer. Uh, let's see. Looks like he's saying the truth. Welcome back. Yeah, no problem. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Promotional travel contest. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these oh, promotions nice. running at any <laughs> one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. Doubt. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look. There's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw hey. with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. I wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but... Great. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for uh, Watch Dogs Legion. I'm waiting till uh, uh, like a day or two before I'm gonna get the. Can you drive to this one? Uh, you play so plus. Because that gives you the ultimate edition and then you get. It covers you for the next year basically. So that covers that. Uh, it covers Assassin's Creed and you want to check out a few other games. Great partners, 
almost think alike. And then Cyberpunk, I'm just gonna wait until November. Um to to buy it. I'll probably buy it like two or three days before. Same thing. Elysian Fields. Development this site. is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. Elysian. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, Who's buddy. Mac? Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. You're behind the wheel. All right, All right back to the fire Where station. To? Lynch says we should visit yeah. the fire station. Yeah, I'm happy to. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut. As long as it comes out in fire. good condition and everything, hey, I'm, I'm cool with it. If it comes out in a better state than Avengers, then hey, that's all right with me. Fire station number 32, 11, 20 a.m. We came hey, as soon as we could. There's such a thing as soap, you know. Son, you're a couple Lynch. of shingles short of Biggs, a you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. <laughs> Wiring looks intact. Yeah, hopefully Come so. Come take a look at this. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Yep. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Yeah, we already knew that. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve. And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Uh. So maybe this first, then this, and then ah oh shoot. Oops, put that back. The that. gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Isn't it next to the coil? Phelps, you need to get the arrangement right before we can reproduce the results. Good, your regulator's in position. Okay. So we are close, but there it is. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the... Damn. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. Oh. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. All right. 
on to the next one. There's such a thing as soap, you know. You can drive. Bye. It's the heat factory. Where are we headed? Son. You're a couple of shit with short of a fool. Walked out on his wife. I don't reckon that. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, I went and gently grabbed her bone and jumped on the bed. Insta Heat Factory, 2.36 p.m. Never get in a fight with ugly people. That's the they one. have nothing to lose. About a week ago, this guy murdered his wife and dumped the body. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Ivan Rasick? Buddy, you dropped something? I gotta have it. Advice? What are Talk you the guy doing, Stepro? <laughs> Yeah, Taylor22. Thank oh, you for the follow. Sister, I appreciate I'm it. So tight, I couldn't walk. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Truthy, you are so bad. <laughs> Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Mm. It's the heat model 70. So you're telling me that what? this is not a manufacturing fault or the service plug? repair? Uh, it might be pulled out. I don't out think there's anything inherently the wrong with the design. Yeah, hold on. I don't. I think he's telling the truth. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. How many guys would know how to make that change? <laughs> All you need is a screwdriver and a wrench. Anybody could pull it apart and put it back. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasick. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Drove after being serviced by Matthew Ryan. What about Matthew oh, snap. Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right, he's been in some trouble, I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasick? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. Hmm. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. What a 
fuck the hell out of you. Where's this phone at? Right here. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through yeah. now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, <laughs> Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Hmm. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Okay. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Here. Happy now. Oh, and boy. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Reginald Varley. All right, let's see. <laughs> the company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Wait. There's something inside. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's a favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Walter Clemens. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Wait, what? I feel like we should open that book more. Get to the next page. Nothing? Okay. Guess not. And Ryan Matthews. Jeez. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Nothing significant. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Yep, yep. All right, what's his plan? Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Probably Clemens first. Poor Walter Clemens. Clemens. What was that? It's a loony. Oh, okay.
They're about to set another one. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Shoot, I didn't see the street name. Check the map. I feel like we could have seen the street name. It was on the right hand side. Oh, Ryan and, and him are right next to each other. Clemens is separate. I'm going, Clemens. You know the way. You can drive. So where do you want to go? PD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. I don't think it's him. You know Reginald Barley? No? Can't say I do. Yeah, except for you work with them. You have a real viper's nest that insta heat, don't you? Arsonists, murderers, communists. What's that got to do with me? You can't prove I'm behind all that. Except for this is Look, ah shoot. I've been cooperative. How about letting me get back to work? You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. <laughs> Jeez. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. Where you work? You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? We found a pamphlet in your There locker. we go. That's the right one. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Yep. He ain't it. Can you drive to this one? Well, right. shoot. Where to? Far lease. Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. They say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. 
<laughs> LAPD, Varley. Stop or I'll shoot. Oh, great. Next time, you're fine. Really? Are you kidding? Are you... From us, Varley. I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley. The Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. And still go check out uh Oba. What is this guy doing? Bitch looks a lot like a cop pointed his gun at. 